Hello, I'm Puno, and I'm here at Girl Boss HQ to guide you through the murky waters of business owning. I know when it comes to business, there are a thousand voices out there just telling you a million things to do, and that means there's gonna be a lot of conflicting advice. So I'm gonna make it really easy for you. I've done the dirty work, talked to tons of experts, and read like way too many online articles, and I'm gonna share that all with you. You're welcome. So, get out your Chromebook and make you the girl boss of your dreams. Okay, let's do this. All right. We all know one of the best ways to communicate your brand is through the look of your website or social media. But as a business owner, knowing your aesthetic isn't enough. You need the tools and concepts to turn your ideas into something visual and eye-catching cool. So today I'm going to help you do just that. I'll show you how to use graphic design to communicate your brand clearly and I'll teach you how to use online tools to turn your ideas into a website, a social media post, or online publication. So before we get into specifics, Let's go over a few simple graphic design rules. I asked Chloe Parks, the art director at Girl Boss, to share her favorite tips, and here's what she told me. Good design establishes credibility and trust. A site that is clear, functional, and like visually pleasing shows your customers that you care about detail and quality. And if it can do all that and communicate your brand's message, well, that's some pretty serious multitasking right there. Legibility is important. Make sure your font is large enough to be read easily and that there's enough space between the lines. The fancy word for this is letting. Quick reminder, serif fonts will always need to be a larger point size than sans serif when displayed. But a good rule of thumb is that the letting ought to be 20% the type size. If your font is 12 point, the default letting would be 14.4 point. But it's always best to customize letting based on the font and how it will be displayed. Don't confuse your customer's eyeballs. When you're picking where you place your text, you've got three options left, center, and right. But because we read English from left to right, left is the best choice for long sections of English language copy because then all the lines on the left start in the same place. Centered and right can be cool, stylized choices, but you should avoid that for longer chunks of text. The rule of thirds is the key to good composition and balance. Imagine a tic-tac-toe grid over your photo or website, or, or me, right now, let's do this. Wah, wah, wah. There you go. The four points where the lines intersect are the strongest focal points. That's where you want to place your main subject. When you do that, your main focal point is slightly off center, and that creates visual interest and makes the piece stand out. This rule sounds a little weird, but when you start looking for it, you're going to start seeing it literally everywhere. Points of contrast draw a viewer's attention, so you'll want to use that contrast to draw your viewer's eyes to the most important parts of the website or image. Big versus small. Bold versus italic. Caps versus lowercase. Light versus dark. Use those kinds of contrasts to create balance and lead the eye around the design piece. So now that we're all graphic design experts, we can dive into the tools and techniques for designing a website that represent you and your brand. A big part of graphic design is editing photos. How can you use the principles of design to make sure you're getting your photos just right? Well, do I have a photo editor for you. It's called Pixlr. Not quite sure how to say that one, but I thought that was good. I thought that was pretty good. It's super intuitive and it's free. So I'm gonna walk you through a few of its best functions. Let's get this stylus out. Chewie! So I'm gonna pick a photo that I want to import. Here's one of me and my cat. I know, she's perfect. But we're gonna make her even more perfect, if you can imagine that. You can use it to adjust a bunch of levels, brightness, and contrast. But first, we're gonna start with cropping. And we're gonna crop with the rule of thirds in mind. See how much better she looks when she's here rather than right here in the middle? Rule of thirds, dude. Rule of thirds. Now that we have my cat's face cropped to really feature her, we're going to color correct her to bring out her best features. Actually, when you're making your website, 
you might want to color correct to match color tone or overall aesthetic for your brand. Remember how we talked about contrast being super important earlier? Now I suggest pulling this light a little farther than you need until it looks like, you know, a little freaky. Then bring it back, bring it back now, slowly pull it back until you find that sweet spot. And you don't want to overcorrect anything so much that the correction takes center stage away from the real star. Hello, the cat. When you're done, you can save the image as a JPEG or a PNG for the web, or, and this is a super handy thing about your Chromebook, you can post directly to Instagram. So we can get instant results on all those kitty likes. Mm -hmm. But what if I don't wanna send this kitty photo just to Instagram? What if I want her? as my LinkedIn photo. I want to use an app I love called Lucid Press. It's super handy for creating all kinds of things you need for your business, like social media posts, advertisements, invites, and banners. And we'll find that by journeying into the Lucid Press template library, it's just right here. A great thing about Lucid Press is that all of its templates use the design concepts we talked about earlier. You can see they love a clean line, a strong point of contrast, a rule of thirds, you get it. So I'm going into the social media section and I'm going to find a banner for my LinkedIn. Then I'll insert that same image of my cat because at this point, I'm just doing me. And next, I'm going to get into the text because good text design is really key for making your work next level professional. Your goal with text is to make it proportional, readable, and appealing. Choose two fonts that are similar, but have at least two different elements so you can get some variety without making your layout feel too chaotic. So in File, we're gonna go to Publish, then select where you want it to save. If you need more help, Google is your friend. You can find tons more info about photo editing, design, and composition through the online design community. And two of my favorite sites are canva.com and behance.net. So at the end of the day, if you keep Chloe's rules in mind, you're going to already be way ahead of the curve. Just remember, number one, keep in mind the basics of good graphic design and use them to communicate your brand. Number two, legibility is important. Keep your line spacing proportionate to your text size. Number three, be thoughtful about alignment. Make sure text placement doesn't freak out your customer's eyeballs. Number four, use the rule of thirds when cropping images and placing objects on the screen. And number five, use contrast to balance your work and guide your customer's eyes. So if you stick with these rules and play around the design tools we're giving you, you're on the path to making your work reflect your own personal brand and aesthetic. You have everything you need to make your work professional and beautiful. So go forth and design.